The U.S. could see its first charter school strike in just 10 days. Teachers at Asparagus Charter School say negotiations over the past 10 months have failed and they are ready to walk now. CBS 2's Susanna Song is live in front of the high school with details. Good morning, Susanna. Good morning, Lionel and Marissa. March 17th, that's the day Espira teachers say they will go on strike if negotiations fail again. But they haven't lost all hope. Just last night, a speed up management came back with a counter offer. The union said it would review it, and they seemed optimistic. Roughly 1,400 kids belong to the four Aspira charters here in Chicago. Teachers with local 4343 showed us pictures of water damage and deteriorating conditions at one of the schools. They say this is proof management isn't allocating funds properly. The board says in the past 10 months they've been at the bargaining table. This was brought up only two weeks ago. Bottom line, in the new contract, the union wants financial transparency. In their last offer, they asked for a 3.25% salary increase in the first year and a 3% increase in the second. If not given more money, they want to be compensated with shorter days and a shorter school year for staff. The board says its counteroffer is reasonable, even with state funding cuts. That school funding problem manifests itself with the deficits that Chicago public schools have. And as a result of that, that gets passed on to us. Not once have we cut instruction positions, teaching positions. The one comparison that we did make was a teacher at Aspida with a master's working at Aspida for seven years was making the same as a uh, teacher who just came out of college, a first year at CPS. Well, both sides hope the strike can be averted. The union is planning a rally for Thursday evening right before the next bargaining session. We are live in Logan Square this morning. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Marissa Lionel, back to you.